For what purpose does the gentleman from Rhode Island rise? Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, earlier this year I welcomed Rhode Island volunteers from the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network to the United States Capitol and discussed their concerns about our commitment to fighting this terrible disease. According to the National Cancer Institute of the National Institutes of Health, 45,000 new cases of pancreatic cancer will be diagnosed this year. About 38,000 men, women, and children across our nation will die from this disease over the same period of time. While our scientific and medical communities have made enormous strides in the fight against other forms of the disease, the fact is that more than 90 percent of pancreatic cancer patients will die within five years of diagnosis. We have to do more to make it easier for doctors to catch this disease early and develop treatments that will improve the prognosis for patients with pancreatic cancer. I applaud the men and women of the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network today for their ongoing work in the fight against this disease, and I look forward to working with them to support continued research and the development of new forms of treatment that will benefit all those whose lives are touched by cancer. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen,